Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do all things baby. Today I'll be sharing my reviews, my hacks, my tips, and how to troubleshoot the Willow Pump container. I got this container um, probably four weeks ago, so a month ago. Um, I have a lot of thoughts on it, a lot of honest opinion that I will be sharing with you guys, but at the end of this video, but before we get started, let me start by wishing you guys all the best for this year. 2020 is here, has arrived. It's crazy how time flies. Um, I just want to send you guys a lot of positive vibes. I hope that this year is filled with joy, a lot of success, and most importantly, a lot of, a lot of health. Um, so now that I've covered that, let's get started with the video. Okay, so this right here is the Willow Pump container. This is a 24 millimeter one. I love how Willow packages all their items. It's so slick. It reminds me kind of like of Apple when they package all their items. Let me start by mentioning or detailing everything that I got with the pump. Sorry, with the container. So I got two of these containers right here. I got two inserts. These are the inserts. And I got two of these caps right here. These flex tubes will not be included with the container. This should already been included with your pump. Uh, just keep in mind that you have to replace these every couple of months. I don't, I don't remember specifically when. Um, I'll link it down below if I can find it. But yes, these are not included with the container. So let's move on to how to assemble the container. So this will be considered the back part of the container and this will be considered the front. So what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna be facing you guys like this. You're gonna take the insert part and just insert, <laughs> insert into the middle of the container. Make sure that the tabs are aligned. These will be considered the tabs right here. And when you press on it, just make sure that it's a flat um, surface. There shouldn't be any bumps to it. That way you make sure that it's really um, attached properly. So in the back, you will have the unlock and lock position. So right now it's in the unlock. So once you've insert, insert it inside the container, you're gonna lock it like this. So this will be considered a lock position. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the cab right here. This will be the cab. You're gonna take this part of the cab and insert it on the part where the um vault will be like this this is the top part and then you're going to grab this part the circle part of the cap and insert it here in the back where the flex tube will go so once you have this covered you're going to grab the flex tube and you're going to attach the small part of the flex tube onto the spout like this what you're going to do is you're going to put the flex tube inside the circle part behind the cab and it should just look like something like this. Just make sure that everything's secured, nothing is loose. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just show you guys everything I use to clean these pumps with every day. So what I did is I grabbed a sponge. So this was the long sponge. What I did, I just cut it in the middle right here. So I have a little sponge for it. I use the two brushes I got with the pump, these two brushes right here. And I sometimes use this small brush right here. If you saw my last video, you'll know where I got these from. So what a lot of people do after they've poured the milk from the container, they will fill it with water and then with soap and then they will just shake it. Um, I don't really do that just because I feel like that kept a lot of soap residue on the container. And when you have a lot of residue, you will see that the pump, the container will not recognize, sorry, the pump will not recognize the container. So what I do is once I have removed the milk from the container, so I'll open it up. And with the sponge, I'll just uh, wet the sponge and then just insert it on, uh, on around the um, container just clean it like that and on the small parts are i'll just take the brush like this i'll use my fingers for it um what you want to do and keep in mind is when you're washing these 
wash them if you want with warm water and after that just make sure you're using really really hot water i find that that made the residue kind of like fade or not have so many um sponge sorry soap residue or milk residue what you can also do is you can clean the the ball part with a q-tip so you can i'm just gonna pretend that this is a q-tip because i don't have one right now but what you will do is just clean it um around with the q-tip uh willow did mention not to use the brushes while cleaning in around that part so that's why i use a q-tip um regardless you're gonna get some residue but what you want to avoid is a lot of residue on the containers okay so if you find the that the valve well well i don't know how to pronounce that word but if you find it that it's really foggy and you really can't get the pump to work with the container you can always replace it what you will do is you will take one of your bags you'll see all the bags have the same type of valve that they're that are used in the containers and you're just going to remove this part right here and insert it onto the container let me know if you guys want to see a video on that i can for sure do it for you guys it's really easy but do comment down below if you want to see it. Moving on to the troubleshooting part of the video. So what I did to troubleshoot it, because at the beginning, so I'm going to say that this worked probably two, three times before I had to troubleshoot. So what I did was I ran this into hot water. So after I cleanse it with the brushes and the sponge, I ran hot water in here. So I just put a lot of hot water, make sure it dripped from the bulb. Um, that was one part of whenever I'm cleansing this at night. The second part was to close my application, the Willowpub application, and then restart it again. And the third thing I did was to restart my pump. So what you will do is you will insert a paper clip right here in the little small hole here and just restart both pumps. That didn't help, but then when running into hot water didn't work while well, closing the app didn't work when resetting the pumps didn't work what i did was soak this in water overnight and vinegar so soak it in water and vinegar overnight and then what you're going to do is rinse it with really really hot water and make sure they dry down like this so i use the i think it's from munchkin i'll link it down below it's like a grass type of like flowers or whatnot and it will hold the container like this and I'll make sure that it dries completely air dry for a couple of hours and then I'll go ahead and reuse it. When I did that, I noticed that this will work for another five to six times and then I'll have to redo it again. Um, maybe it could be a method of how I'm cleaning it or I, I really can't pinpoint what makes it not work. I'm assuming it's the residue in the bowl that won't recognize the container. So that's why I do that at least once a week. So. If none of these troubleshooting work for you and it's still not recognizing the container, do reach out to the Willow Pump Customer Care because um, they will be able to help you more in depth to see what the real issue is. But I've noticed that if you do one of these tricks or you do them all together, it will definitely work. Um, when you reach out and if you've done all of these steps, do mention it to them. That way you don't waste time redoing them again because that's essentially what they're going to tell you. Also, for the moms that are not in the U.S. and are in Canada, you must update the app. So as I mentioned in my Willow Pump review, change the region in your Apple Store if you have an iPhone and then download the app again or um, check on the updates. It should be a latest update there. That's what I noticed that once these containers came out, the app, new, the new version of the app came out and I wasn't, I, I didn't know because I changed back my region to Canada. So when I did that, I was able to um, upload again the, oh, sorry, update the app. And that's when the container and the pump connected and are properly working. Okay, so let me move on to my tips and little tricks that I've learned with the container. Okay, so when I'm ready to pump and I don't, I notice that it's not recognizing the container yet is fully clean and everything's attached properly. Most likely what's happening is that it's, not recognizing or thinks that the valve is too foggy or has too much residue. So what I do, I open the cap up like this and with a toothpick, be cautious. I should put a warning sign here. Be very, very cautious when you're using toothpicks. 
um, especially with the bags or with the balls because they're plastic so you don't want to pierce through them because if you do then you're gonna have to replace the valve and that's just not gonna be fun so what I do is like you're just gonna go around the valve as if you were um, taking it out but you're not you just want to clean around it separate it a little bit when I do that I've noticed that when I close it it does recognize the container again I'm not sure it's because it's stuck together and it's not letting the air come out or something. But every time I do that, it works instantly. So that will be tip number one. Tip number two, I'm, I'm assuming that is in the manual. So when you're removing the container from your breast, what you're going to do is you're going to press. Um, so you're going to turn the dial to number two. That's going to close the air vent. So when you're going to remove and break the latch from the container from your breast, what you're going to do is you're going to bend over, like I mentioned in my previous video, and break the latch. You're just going to remove the container like so. The reason being is because you want to maintain all the milk here in this part of the container. And then make sure you're still on the dial too when you're doing the flip to finish. I'll demonstrate you guys how I do the flip to finish. I'm just going to start pumping shortly and how I poured the milk out of this container. I am currently pumping. I'm just gonna wait till I'm done pumping so I can pour the milk into a container. So as I mentioned, when you um, feel that it's sending you messages that it's uh, check the assemble or whatever, use a toothpick tip and go around it. You'll see that it will work. Once you've done that and you pr uh, put the container into your breast. So first, another tip. Make sure you put the container on your breast and your nipple. Make sure the nipple is aligned. Um, so the nipple is in the middle of the tunnel. You're gonna place the container to your breast, make sure the nipple is aligned, and hold the pump like this until it has already um, grabbed on and latched. When I, what do I mean by that is you press play, or you power it on and then you press play, and then it starts going like And then once it's gone for like, wait 10 15 seconds then you can go ahead and place your bra uh, what i notice is when i hold tight to it uh, from to my breast it does latch so once i did the toothpick trick and hold it onto my breast it will latch every time i haven't had an issue ever since okay let me move on to share my reviews of this container my honest thoughts um my first thought will be that it does take a learning curve it is completely different to what i was used to which was the milk bags i feel like the milk bags they're always going to work because they're always sealed unless you're removing the milk out of the bag so when they're when it's not working it's either you pierce through the bag or there's a lot of air in the bag or whatnot i've already mentioned that in my previous video so go check that out i'll link it down below so it did take a big big learning curve you have to make sure that you're cleaning these containers the right way the container the insert um the flex tube the wall properly um because if you don't and if there's residue it's not gonna work out it's not gonna recognize the pump it's not the pump is not gonna recognize the container and it there has been times that i've been playing with it for 10 to 15 minutes and after that i just give up I just want to burn it at that point uh so it did take a big big learning curve i will say the two weeks that i had it when i was going back and forth with customer care um customer care did change my mind on them i'm not gonna lie they were really really kind they were fast responsive they were problem problem solving which was the opposite when i first got the pump so i will give that to willow they've really upped their game with their customer care so they were ready to replace my container for a new one but honestly I just shipping it again and waiting for it it was just a hassle for me so I just figured it out and now it's working so that means that there was nothing wrong with the container just that maybe the way i was using it and how i thought it worked wasn't working out uh the second thing i have to say about this is once you get the hang of it once you know how to make the container work it will work every time literally um so what i do is when i'm soaking these in hot water and vinegar white vinegar i just use the milk bags the third thing I didn't like about the container was obviously it's not something I'm going to use when I'm out and about. I will use, well, I do use the milk bags when I'm out just because it's easier to pump and just store when I'm out and to clean. 
because as I mentioned, if you don't clean these containers properly, they're not gonna recognize. The pump is not gonna recognize the container, it's not gonna work and you're gonna be stuck with containers that are not working, you're not gonna be able to pump. So with the milk bags, you're for sure gonna be able to pump nowhere, where, no matter where you are. So these are more reliable. I feel that with the containers also, you can't really see your nipple. So it's a little bit harder to see your nipple through it and make sure it's aligned. So that was one thing that was uh, a little bit tricky, but I got the hang of it. Now I know. The other thing I didn't like about the container was that the first and second time I was pumping, I was leaking from the bottom. I have no idea why. I still to this day don't know how I was leaking. Um, I guess when I secured the breast properly, this is a breast. Um, a bra I got from Thyme. I will link it down below. I hope there's any left because they were on a huge sale last time I checked them out. Uh, when I tight my bra a little bit more and just press it against my breast, I guess that prevents the leakage. I don't know. Um, and the other part that I didn't like was all the assembling errors that I got. But once you get the hang of it, as I mentioned, you will be able to work it out. At the beginning, if you're trying this out and if you're transferring from the milk bags to the container, it will be frustrating, but girls do not give up. Okay, I am back from pumping. My pumps have finished after the 25 minutes. So as I mentioned, you're gonna flip the dial from one to two before removing the pumps. So right now they're at two. And then when you're gonna remove the pump, just make sure to grab the pump firmly and just bend over like this when you're gonna break the latch, just with your two fingers, you're gonna press on the nipple or on the breast like this before removing um, the pump. But make sure you're always bending over a little bit, that way you don't spill any milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pumps and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have the container here and the pump. The flip to finish is really, really important uh, in this step before pouring the milk into a milk bottle. The reason being is because if you have milk in the flex tube or in the tunnel, it's gonna be really, really hard to remove it. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I do the flip to finish. So here you can see that there's milk on the flex tube and in the tunnel. So you're gonna go ahead and press the play button right here. And just slowly turn the, the pump around like this. Don't be scared when you do the flip to finish because the more you turn the pump around, the more milk it will um, push into the container. So if you see here, there's no more milk in there. There's a little tiny bit of milk here, but it's nothing really. So let's go ahead and move on to um, pouring the milk into the milk bottle. Okay, so I have the both containers right here. So I have one with no milk, the one that we did the flip to finish. And then I have one with the flex tube filled with milk. I just want to show you guys how I remove the milk from the flex tube if it's stuck in there. So what you're going to do is just make sure that the milk is in the bottom right here when you're going to flip the one to the two. And you're going to hear like an air release like this. Um, that means that the air vent is open. So you can go ahead and open the cap like this. So what I do is I make sure I, I line the top of the bottle to the container like this and just pour it. As I mentioned in my previous videos, guys, patience is key because you don't want to spill any milk. And if you want, if it's the first or second time, you can go ahead and put a plane underneath. You don't want to waste any milk. So there you go, you have most of the milk inside of the bottle. Um, what I do, it's just force of habit now. I just pour, I just uh, place the bottle onto the container like this, if there's any um, milk left, which there was, so that's a plus. So there's no more milk here in this container, so we're gonna go ahead and move to the second container. So we're gonna do the same, make sure that the milk here is in the bottom, just shift it a little bit like this. Then you're gonna flip the dial, you're gonna hear the air release. Then open the cap, press the bottle onto the container like so. Since I mentioned guys that there was some milk left on, on the flex tube and the tunnel, make sure you don't go and completely flip the container. So what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to put the bottle next to the container and just pour the milk like this, whatever's left in the tunnel. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the flex tube from the um, container like this. I'm going to grab the flex tube and just pour it inside the milk bottle like so. So as you can see, my container has no more milk at all, not in the tube, in the flex tube or the container. So right now we have a total of six ounces here. There you go. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if it was, what tips and tricks you guys will use. Comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye now.